Hi and welcome to this quick overview and demo of FortiPAM, Privilege Access Management from FortiNet. My name is Janar Garcia, Technical Marketing at FortiNet. FortiPAM is a key component of FortiNet Identity and Access Management Solution. It provides customer with a unified and easy to manage way to safeguard privilege access to critical assets. In this video, I'll take you through an overview of FortiPAM key features and capabilities, followed by a brief tour of the FortiPAM management portal. So let's get started. FortiPAM helps organization mitigate privilege, identity-related exposure, and secure human privilege access and credentials. This is achieved through a credential vault, control privilege, user access with granular policies and workflows, and monitor privilege user access with session activity surveillance by recording keystrokes and access and event monitoring. So what are the key use cases of FortiPAM? First, it helps mitigate both external attacks and insider threats. Many cyber attacks are carried out by individuals with privileged access to an organization IT systems. So securing and monitoring these accounts is critical. FortiPAM also provides a robust access control helping organizations meet compliance requirements. But perhaps the most important use case it is, is the ability to offer full visibility and control over access to an organization critical access, ensuring they're well protected and managed. Now let's talk about the 40 PAM solution components. On the left hand side of the slide, we have the clients that can access the 40 PAM using a web browser. The 40 PAM proxies all critical assets and we have an integration with 40 client. In addition, 40 PAM has a full integration with our 40 IAM solutions such as the 40 Authenticator and 40 Token and other 40 Net products such as the 40 Analyzer. For the target assets on the upper right of the slide, these are the critical IT resources, systems and infrastructure that requires privileged access management. And with these target assets, we can configure them as secrets so we can control monitor access of users with elevated privileges to mitigate risks from insider threats and external attacks. Now here's the demo portion of the presentation. So basically to access the management portal of the 40 PAM, you basically use a browser uh, to navigate to the management portal using our admin credentials. Now that we're logged in, we are presented with a dashboard that contains the system information. We have license information here, uh, which we have a subscription license in the system. We also have provisioned a license with DLP and an antivirus uh, licenses. And in this 40 PAM, we are actually running on a virtual machine and it's a standalone 40 PAM unit. On the left side of this management portal, we have the secrets and targets so let's navigate through these uh, configuration. So within the secrets menu, there are secrets, targets, personal folders, and public folders. So essentially, the two things that you need uh, would be the secrets and targets. The difference between the two is that secrets and targets is basically the target is essentially the IT resources or critical assets that are widely available to be accessed by a privileged user. Once the target is configured, we can elevate these targets as a secret, and the secrets can be configured with policies and rules, such as who can access them, time that can be accessed, uh, password changes, as well as provisioning security features, and the ability to record sessions as part of the policy, and the option for the target to be monitored. Now that we are on the secret side, um, we can navigate in to one of the configured uh, secrets here, which is a Windows device. Let's navigate in and check on the secret settings for this Windows device. Uh, there are uh, service settings, we have permissions dependencies, we have credentials, history, uh, log and event subscription. From here, since we have a Windows Server, we have two options using an RDP and a Web RDP to access them. We have multiple options within the secrets um, as we have the uh, capability to disable or enable uh, the feature itself. They also have the capability to do proxy mode. 
uh, going in depth to the proxy mode, all the launch traffic to the target server is forwarded to 40PAM first, and 40PAM then connects to the target server. 40PAM manages the credentials and logging procedures to the target server, and all the traffic except the uh, web browsing is proxied through 40PAM. On the proxy mode, it's more secure than the non-proxy mode as it does not deliver sensitive information to the client machine. In the proxy mode, the administrator can terminate traffic uh, connections if improper behavior is detected. Another feature that you need to know within this 40PAM is the verify options. Once you have configured the login credentials within secret settings, you have the option to validate connection status. Within the click of this verify symbol located at the top right corner, uh, it will access the secrets using the configured login and credentials. In this case, the credentials are good and we're all set to go. As I mentioned in the earlier portion of this video, we have enabled the antivirus uh, feature and you can see we can bind these antivirus features within the secrets and we can edit the profile of the antivirus either to disable, block, or monitor the services. In this 40 pack, we also have configured the DLP license enabled. And in this configuration, we can edit all the executables to log any HTTP GET, POST, or SSH with a severity of medium. Within the DLP file pattern, we have options to enable different types of files. In this uh, lab, we have the HTA, we have a batch file, executable files are enabled. If this suits your requirements, click OK to save. So let's launch a secret that we have configured. And you have two options here to either launch the secret from a menu uh, or from a favorite secret. Um, on the connection type, uh, on the Windows server, we have two options to get connected, either with a remote desktop or a web RDP. And in this demo, we are using the Microsoft remote desktop option. Now that we are connected, all the user movements and accessibility within the Windows server are recorded. So let's navigate using a browser and perhaps open some folders. And later on, let's review the sessions uh, on the recording. Here's another secrets uh, demo uh, that we can launch. In this case, we're using a 40 DDoS device uh, that has been pre-configured. Once you click the launch menu, you will be presented with a potty, a web launcher, or a web access H uh, option. In this demo, we'll be using a web launcher to access the management portal to 40 uh, DDoS. Uh, since we have the credentials pre-filled in secret settings, we can click uh, the field credentials and it will log in automatically. Now that we are securely connected to the 40 DDoS uh, from 40 PAM, all the sessions with 40 DDoS are being recorded and monitored. Another demo here is launching a secret with 40 ADC and this is using a web launcher as well to access the management portal for the 4080C. Session recordings are optional and it can be configured to be enabled or disabled from the secret settings. Now let's navigate to the log and report section of the 40 PAM. And now we can uh, witness the secret session on video. Uh, there are some details here, such as log details here that contains the source IP, the destination and the time, uh, some of the profiles that's being used within the session. Uh, so now here's the session recording for the Windows Server and followed by the 40 ADC and the 40 DDoS recording.
I hope this gives you a quick overview of the 40 pam solution. Again, thank you for watching.